Welcome back. The UVM men's lacrosse team has been the most successful program in America East Jack over the past three years. Yeah, three consecutive regular season titles, two trips to NCAAs in that time, and a ton of big names have contributed to that success. One you might not hear much is chipping in however he can and living up to the family name in the process. It was definitely an adjustment, I think, going from like being the guy to having to grind every day and, and really work for a spot. Grady Corkum was a star on the high school lacrosse field. Playing for the Essex Hornets, he racked up 25 goals and 33 assists his senior year en route to first team All-State and U.S. Lacrosse All-American honors. Yeah, I vividly remember Grady from our prospect day when he was a sophomore in high school and just how polite and nice of a kid he was. We knew he would be a great cultural fit for our program and uh, he's been exactly that. He might have had the opportunity to continue as a star at the D3 level or for another D1 program, but Grady Corkum was born to be a Catamount. So I played here uh, seasons of 85 to 88. Um, I kind of had a roundabout way of getting to play lacrosse here. I was a baseball player in high school. Came to UVM and then my best friend, a guy by the name of Chris Nichols, convinced me to try out. Grady's father, Dean, got involved in the game during the rough and tumble 80s. It really uh, completed my college experience. You know, the relationships probably most of all uh, that I still have today. He met his wife, Lucy, at UVM, settled nearby, and spent nearly three decades teaching the game he loved to the next generation in Essex. And that included the next generation of Corkums. I was in the backpack at practice uh, being lugged around with him while he was coaching and then <laughs> I think not long after I got on my two feet, put one in my hands and was able to, to get around and get after it a little bit myself. But I don't think we ever owned a baseball glove, it was just always lacrosse sticks, so they just were always there. But that doesn't mean Grady and his older sister Maddie didn't play any other sports. I grew up playing football uh, every fall. and. I think I played receiver, so a lot of the movements of getting off the line and a lot of the lateral movement and juking and whatnot, I think contributed greatly to lacrosse. When Grady ultimately decided to come to UVM, the rest of the family was thrilled. My parents were definitely over the moon. My dad really excited that I was gonna be playing for the program that he played for. And then my mom was super happy I was gonna be close by and that she'd be able to come to as many games as possible. And then my sister too, we actually overlapped one year cause she decided to do a fifth year. Oh yeah, Maddie Corkum also played at UVM, serving as captain her final two years. Definitely proud dad. Uh, but again, you know, I'm most proud of uh, the mark they've left on the program and, you know, and to be able to have you know, all three of us play here. It's, it's just a really neat experience. Here in his final year, Grady is out there every day, putting in the work on the scout team. You kind of get to play loose and play fun and, and be someone new every week, which can be fun and be beneficial to your own game too. He's a guy that, you know, doesn't put himself uh, in front of anybody and is willing to really set us up for success every single day of the week. I hope my legacy would just be a selfless guy who's a great teammate who you can always count on. And in his final season, it's all in service of the ultimate goal. Obviously, we'd like to win an America East championship uh, here on Virtue. That would be like the number one goal.